why did I start? Why did I choose a uh, to mushroom to start a business? Right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I choose mushroom to start a business so that I can be sustainable. Sustainable, not not in that monetary wise, but in the in the fire in me. So um, the first half of my life. I'm motivated because of the five C's. So I go for money. So it comes to a point, I really lose hope and I give up and I burn out. Okay. And as we age through stages, uh, our needs differ. So it comes to a point that if I'm going to do it uh, uh, one more time, it got to be a different setting. So this setting happens to be, I fell in love with the mushroom because mushroom do talk. They talk to you, huh? They talk not literally by words, but they show you. You can connect with them, and they will tell you how they feel. And um, and as I say, love alone cannot survive, cannot bring you very far. So we need to make it commercially viable. So that is the next level. Okay. So uh, why mushroom? Because I felt since I love them, then they love me. Then then mushroom. Before mushroom, I actually worked for a, a company that deal with training in, in, in gardening, in vegetables. I know how to do it, but somehow you know uh, there's no chemistry. You can't connect. So that is, uh, I, I do not know how to explain, but this is how I felt. All right? Why, what do you think of expanding the business in Singapore? Uh, why see? Can I continue? Sure. Yeah. Why do you think of expanding the business in Singapore? Okay. You see, dietary supplement, we are try, uh, growing right now that we are trying to um, market uh, here and around the region. It's always good to come back home that it carries the brand of Singapore and that gives a lot of confidence to a lot of people. Okay? And with this COVID-19, we are all ramping up to produce more so that we do not have to be dependent on our supplier, right? So this is also some, some national service we, we have to perform. But to what extent and how fast we're going to do it is always a question mark. So that's like what you guys are doing right now. A community back platform, let people like us to come in and share. And so that we all stay in line with one objective and one goal to fulfill a final goal of 30-30, right? And why do you choose mushroom to start? Did you consider to set up the farm in Malaysia? Oh, yes, talking about that. Uh, um, I have friends who grow mushroom in Malaysia and why do I never choose Malaysia and Thailand? It's also, luckily, I do not know. I do not know the, the, in the first place. My friends told me that they always have problem with raw material. You know, without sawdust, without sawdust, you cannot grow mushroom. Okay, so raw material is very important. Okay, we got about five minutes left, so we make it a speedy one. In Thailand, there are many delicious mushroom varieties during the rainy season. Okay, okay. So you are talking about foraging them, right? Okay. Do you have any insights on those? Oh, foraging of wild mushroom. Uh, yes. We can even forage in Singapore during those seasons. Okay? But again, wild mushroom, if you are not a specialist in identifying them, don't consume. But always there's a, the, there's a, a school of thought that says that mushroom that look very beautiful and colorful, don't touch them. They are poisonous. Those ugly ones, dull color, you, you can try to consume it. Try. So the, my advice is if you're not sure, don't do it. Okay? But in Thailand, yes, they do. They do go into the forest. They will uh, forage the common one, which is a straw mushroom and oyster mushroom. And, and if you're lucky, you find a potel, uh, potel, potello. potello mushroom, something like that. No? Uh, so foraging is, is, it can be done. Uh. Okay, why do you choose mushroom? So, do you have any special permit to stay? Wow, say, this is very technical. Special permit. Of course, you need to have a special permit. Nah. Set out a limited company. Nah. You want to set out a limited company in Thailand, kind look for me. I'm a specialist <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, how can new public housing be designed and built? Oh, that is a very good question. 
okay, urban farming. Uh, you know, we have a lot of unused uh, places, building that they, they are waiting to be demolished. Why don't let us grow mushroom? No, mushroom is vertical farming. No, uh, we can you give us a space as long as I find that the location is good, we do it. But if you ever want to do in a cave, uh, do you know what is the major uh, 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 is the major thing you need to settle if you want to grow up, grow in the cave. Mushroom can grow in that cave, provided you give them fresh air exchange. You make sure the ventilations are in place. You don't expect the mushroom to, to starve themselves and, and grow happily for you in the cave. You put yourself in the cave without ventilation, how will you feel? You see, the best measurement of their happiness uh, is not about the gadget. Yes, the gadget will help to a certain extent. It's about you. You go to the room, you stay there for five minutes. If you, if you are happy, the mushroom will be happy. You don't believe me? If you ever grow mushroom, you do that. Okay? So but the, I'm, not, I'm not happy when I'm at, I'm at the top of the car park, you know, rooftop. <laughs> it is so hot, you know. Would it actually right. affect the... You, you yeah, can't. I see that one. Uh, uh, we can't grow mushroom uh, because direct sunlight, as I told you, mushroom are not plants. Uh, they don't need sunlight. Uh. Okay, how do you solve the language problem? Oh, solving the language problem, very easy. You just speak English, they speak Thai, then you connect. Okay, that is the story. <laughs> it's true. Eh? You see, languages are universal. Eh? You don't need to really literally speak the language. You just speak what you want to speak in that, in that form. They will tell you, for example, when I sell mushroom, they will, they will talk, talk, talk. Okay, uh, 20 baht. That is their question. That is their language. All right, and then they take out the money. I don't understand what they are saying, but I know from there that they're asking how much. And then they talk further, means they want to bargain. I'm sorry, ma'am, only 20 baht. How to bargain? Really fresh. No problem. Then they also understand what I'm saying, cannot bargain. So they pay. See, language are <laughs> literally no barriers. This is how our work comes in. But of course, when it comes to really very team one, uh, then I pull along my stuff. Uh. Okay. So uh, the, Liam, there's actually one, one question about the latest innovation or research uh, in uh, this mushroom growing uh, that excites you. Anything that comes Okay, to what mind? are the latest innovation or research finding in the uh, fungi culture that excites? Oh, yes. Uh, mm, I have a student uh, from Israel. You know what he tell me? Hey, Liam, apart from using sawdust, can we use the plastic, grind them into powder form and use it as substrate? You know what I say? I say, why not? I will not say no. Because I hate people to tell me no. Because when, it's, when we have not done it before, I say, why not? I do not know how, but why not? But if you really, if you really believe so, then go and find out. It's possible. There, there are people who say that mushrooms eat plastic, eh? so I haven't really gone and looked into it. Okay? But, um, you know, the... Um, Cannabis has already been legalized in Thailand, right? And because they, I mean, the goodness it carries. They haven't legalized magic mushroom, uh, follow this, uh, which is the mother name, which is the surname. Okay, so that is also another aspect. But we are not going to uh, talk about that. We're not going to touch that uh, because it's never good. Uh. Okay, anything else? Uh, yeah, I think uh, did I miss any questions? questions. Uh, about the plastic, uh, uh, are you not concerned about the microplastic uh, if you were to grow it on plastic? Uh, that is another question uh, because I don't have any data and research until they, they find out with a formula uh, to have a, to have a ideal plastic condition whereby it doesn't have that problem. You see? But the big word is, can we use plastic to grow mushroom? Uh, it's a past 6.30. I mm -hmm. think and um, close. I just want to thank Lian so much for joining us and sharing his his passion for and his love for mushrooms mm. and all his insights. And I also want to thank everyone for being here, your presence, uh, and Sangeeta for setting up the pigeonhole link, YC for facilitating the discussion. Jamie has been the timer in the background, and uh, yeah, and. Have a good evening. We will see you next week. Can I have one second? Uh, yes. We are looking we for take partners. A good photo. We, oh, are, yes. we are looking for partners uh, to, to invest in Mushroom World and to play a role in our bigger plans. If you are interested, please DM me or, what, or WhatsApp me or PM me or whatever. And we would love to talk to you.